Hey guys, it's Cook3, and welcome to part 19, to the final part of Let's Play Curse of Monkey Island. In the last part, we stopped being a kid, and in this part, we're on a roller coaster. Um, yeah, let's just sort of see what we've got here. We've got, hey, I remember that from LeChuck's Revenge. And there's Wally, and there's us, and LeChuck, and. Oh man, good times! But wait, we were hanging with Wally, so. This bit I don't really remember, but, um, yeah. Hang on, didn't it say that we get plunged into lava at some point on this ride? Oh wait, maybe not. Just loops and... Hey! Is that Herman Toothrot? Now let's take this rope with us. As I've said a million times before, rope is always useful and it is Herman it's a mechanical Toothrot. Herman Toothrot. Well, a mechanical one, but, you know, Herman Toothrot nonetheless. I had a feeling he'd turn up sooner or later. Hey, Three-headed monkey, how you doing, fella? Uh, no. What do you mean we can't take him with us? You it's always want to take three-headed monkey rope. with you wherever you go. It's like rope. It's, it's the always useful. captain of Herman Toothrot's ship. Oh, I remember him. He was more like, you know, completely dead by the point we found him, though. As in, completely rotten as well. And, oh, hey, I recognize the guy on the far right, at least. We beat him in drinking contests it's by Rome cheating, Roger's obviously. He appeared in life. So this is the crew that originally went off to try and find the treasure of Big Whoop, I take it. Elaine's it's dad. Captain Marley. Oh, Elaine's Elaine's grandfather. grandfather, even. Uh-oh, that's... that's not good. Elaine! Ah! Frank Wood is only you. Have you seen Elaine? She told me she was just going to powder her nose, and I haven't seen her what since. What is it with people in this game being so incredibly gullible? Those were thought it was just good soups, and now... Now stand still, boy, Man. so I can flame broil. Yeah. Um... I'd rather not. Um, can we push him? No. Nope. That's darn it. Get out of there, guy brush. Ouch. I don't get why LeChuck doesn't just take the opportunities to kill him more often. But anyways, um, hey, that's how you it's doing. It's Dynamo Wally? Monk Electric Wally. That is yeah, good. So that's pretty good electronic. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, what? It really is Wally. Oh God! Guy brush, get him Could down. Please stop that annoying swing. <laughs> guy brush. Help him. I'll save him after I defeat LeChuck. You know, you, you might not have time. Me, Wally. You might as Just well as soon as I save him now. Chuck, save Elaine, set all the monkeys free, and ride the madly rotating buccaneer, and I'll come back and release you. Guybrush, you're a dick, you know that. <laughs> well, let's take this flask of oil with us, just, you know, because. And there's zombie LeChuck. It's very lifelike. Well, I mean, death life. Well, ah, man. Those are the days back before his beard was on fire. You remember those days? Oh, there he is again. Hello! Ah, you again! If you've ridden me, Coaster, why haven't you been boiled in me molten pool of lava? That's what I was wondering. Mm. Elaine must have fiddled with me controls and rerouted the track. Ah, good old Elaine. I shall be the death of me yet. I mean, again. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lichuk. You and your death world. jokes. Eat flame and death, great word. I'd rather not. Do we have anything we could you know, kill him with. Let's attack him with pepper. You shouldn't have. <gasps> okay. Uh, we can make him sneeze. Bad. That um, certainly something. Don't think it helped us much though. Ooh. Maybe we just didn't set up yeah. the right conditions. Um. Well, there's still one place we haven't explored yet, and that's this weird ice place. We never had an ice adventure. Let's see what we've got up. Dynamo Monk Electric. What was that? Giant Snow Monkey. Oh boy, that's. That certainly is a big snow monkey with a tiny little pirate hat. It's every sailor's worst nightmare. The giant snowy ape. Um, then why has it never been brought up before, Guybrush? Okay, I think we need to set up a little trap for the chuck right here. Let's use this rope on the flask there. of oil. It's soaked in oil and probably highly flammable. Put that on the keg of rum. Cool. So, yeah, I think we've got an explosive keg of rum right there. I think you it's guys can see where this is going. We've got a rope that's good to set on fire, helped, of course, by the oil. And an explosive keg of rum. Now we just need some source of fire. And where might we find one of those? By pacing around a little bit, because you're dependent on the game for this bit. Let's not get back in the R.I.P. coaster, thank you very much. I've spent enough time there. No, it's time for us to leave this stinking rock. Excuse me. 
Come on, Chuck. There you are. There's the man of the hour. Oh no, it's the Chuck. Um. I Freewood. It be me, your worst nightmare. I thought his worst nightmare was porcelain. Sorry, you ever set foot here on Monday man, if the Chuck ever just decides I'm to be made out of porcelain, then Guybrush is going to be powerless. Anyways, so would you mind helping us bring you down? That would be really helpful. Okay, Guybrush, jump out of there. This place is going to blow any second now. That was close. We finally did it. We finally defeated LeChuck. For the third time. Hmm. Well, we've got Elaine back and we got married. <laughs> yeah, isn't that adorable? And there we got our pirate friends and Lemonhead waving good. Oh shit, we forgot to save Wally. Um. Well, uh, that's. Um. Well, no, we didn't forget to save him. Guybrush decided not to because he's a moron, but. Yeah, that's. That's something. Um. Whoops. Run, mortal! But do not forget your arch nemesis, Murray. Mark my words, I shall return to haunt you. Do you hear me? I shall return. <laughs> oh, Murray, you so crazy. And yes, this is the if actual. You value your life, mere mortal. <laughs> you will flee before Murray, scourge of the living, and uber skull of the underworld. That's lovely, Murray. Anyways, yes, we are now finished with Curse of Monkey <laughs> Island. All those times I said we died, not really, but we've now finally actually this finished is the game. So unfair. Gary Coleman. Ah, I never knew that. Well. That's pretty cool. Um, anyways, <laughs> where was I? That's right. Um, so yeah, we've now finished Curse of Monkey Island, so um, that's pretty crazy and amazing. Um, I'll be doing Escape from Monkey Island next, clearly not in my next project, um, because I have no idea where the discs are. <laughs> I found the box, but the discs aren't in there, unhelpfully, so, you know, I'll look around for them a bit more or I might just have to download the game or whatever. Um, but yes, as for what's coming next, next is the project I told you about a while ago which is going to be uh, a completely Japanese game. I'm still not telling you what it is because I want it to be a surprise when you see it. Um, as for when I'll be starting that, I'm not entirely certain. It'll either be on Monday, but Monday might equally be Colin Bound. Um, well, I say Monday. I'm not actually sure when I'm uploading things because I've recorded all of these in advance. So this is still Sunday the Sunday the first of July, um, and so this part is going up. I don't know. It's either Thursday or Friday, I think. I can't quite remember how many parts I've got recorded at the moment. Um, but yes, so the next uploading day will either be Colin Bound or Mysterious Japanese Game. Ugh. Um. Yeah, not sure why I'm being a ghost here, but, you know, it feels appropriate. Um, but yes, so as the credits roll, I just want to say I've enjoyed this project. Um, Ghost of Monkey Island, of the games I've played, being all the Monkey Island games so far, I would probably say Curse is my least favourite. Um, it's not bad, but, like, have you ever seen Yahtzee talk about, um, Monkey Island games, then he really had a point with this sort of being flogging a dead horse. Um, like, this game was, it was enjoyable and everything, but there were, I found, like, too many things where it was like, oh man, let's see how many LucasArts references we can make to other games and to the fact that this is a game and the fact of, like, Star Wars and everything. Which, you know, it's all well and good in its own right, but, you know, I think if you look through the videos, you wouldn't find a single part which didn't have at least one reference to another Lucas, um, LucasArts thing. So, I don't know. But in any case, it was still enjoyable. It introduced Murray, who's like the best character ever. Um, and yes, they definitely got good voice actors for this first um, adventure of it. There's something interesting in uh, Escape from Monkey Island, though, which I'll point out when we get to it, but um, yeah. It's pretty entertaining to see. Um, well, I think so, at least. 
But yes, as the names continue to scroll, I think all that is left for me to say at this moment is thank you guys very much for watching this entire Let's Play, if you did. If you only watched this part, thank you for watching this part. If you didn't watch any, then how are you even watching or hearing me say this right now? Did one of your friends tell you this? Well, I'm not thanking you for this. You've got to watch the video yourself. Yet. Yeah, some people. Anyways, yes, but thank you guys very much for watching this. Um, and I'm going to leave you with the remaining credits while I go and do something else. I have no idea what yet. I will see you guys whenever the next uploading day is for my next project or possibly for Colin Bound. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye. This carnival is great, Dad. It sure is, son. But you know, rumor has it that the man who built this place is buried here. And they say that to this day, his frozen body remains in the tunnels somewhere beneath the amusement park. <laughs>